We recently started streaming Beat Saber on Twitch, which started a whole line of brand new questions, but one in particular. And that is how can I see and interact with Twitch chat while playing Beat Saber? Well, we got the answer for you coming right up. The solution is thanks to Boulders2000 in the Beat Saber modding group Discord. Boulders provides the answer not only to enabling stream chat, but also the ability to add a song request manager. We're going to focus on stream chat today. The song request manager we'll talk about in a future video, and links to everything you will need will be down in the description below, including the link to the Beat Saber modding group Discord. If you haven't checked it already, I recommend checking them out. It is the number one source for all Beat Saber mods and guides. To get started, we need to download Chat Core and Enhanced Stream Chat. Once you have them downloaded, go ahead and unzip them. And the files in these folders, we need to copy over to the core Beat Saber folder. For most people, this will be located on your C drive under Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Beat Saber, or wherever your Steam games are installed. Let's start with Chat Core first. And in the libs folder is a chat core DLL we need to copy to the Beat Saber libs folder. In the plugins folder is chat core.manifest that we'll copy to plugins. And we can back out over to enhanced stream chat. And in plugins, we'll copy enhanced stream chat to plugins. All right, both mods are installed, easy enough. Now we need to go ahead and launch Beat Saber. Once Beat Saber is launched, we'll see the new chat window right up top, but we need to configure it first. So we'll start by clicking this gear icon in the bottom right corner. And we see there's a whole bunch of settings that we can modify, but we need to go to login channels and we need to launch the chat core web app. We can do that just by clicking right here on the link. You can also get to the chat core settings by just opening up a web browser and going to localhost colon 8338. Now you can only do this while Beat Saber is running. So the first thing we need to do is under the Twitch settings section, we need to get an OAuth code. To do that, click on the link right below. This is gonna take us to twitchapps.com forward slash TMI. Now you may have to log into your account. Once you're set, go ahead and click connect. And this is gonna give you a code that you wanna copy, move over to chat core settings and just paste it right there in that field. Once you've done that, hit the save button in the bottom right corner. And let's go back over to Beat Saber. Back in Beat Saber, we just need to quit and relaunch. We know the chat's working because now we see a message that says Twitch success joining your channel. So we can test this out by opening up Twitch chat. I've got a chat window. We're going to do a quick test message in. And that shows up in our chat. We jump back over to Beat Saber. We can see that the message showed up in our chat as well. And that's it. You're all set up. If there's anything else that you want to configure or tweak or change, you can adjust uh, movement of the window just by turning that on. You can grab the window, replace it. Some, sometimes it's kind of nice to have it a little bit low to where you can see it down there. But wherever you want to put the window, you can move that around. You can also reverse chat window, chat order. You can change the chat width, height, font size, adjust the colors to your heart's content. Access that login anytime you need to and buy Brian a pizza sometime. Enhanced Stream Chat is provided free of charge and always will be. If you want to show some support, click on the pizza dog to open up the donation page in your default browser.